What's up guys, uh, this is Priyanshu and in this video we are going to uh, demonstrate how to integrate the toaster javascript library with the angular application. So first what is the toaster javascript library and what is the use of that uh, toaster javascript library. So the toaster javascript library is used to show the notification to the user. So it is the best way to show the uh, entity notifications to the user when user performs some kind of operation or perform some kind of task okay so let's check the toaster service so search for toaster t o a s t r so it having the github page and in this github page there is a documentation available about how the toaster is working and uh, there is a code also available and uh, here the demo uh, link is there so in in this demo link there is a configuration means how this toaster message is working and what kind of functions are available and configuration is there for the toaster message so there are the main functionality is that uh, there is a type of notification is there success notification no info warning and error so uh, we can check here by clicking uh, clicking the show toast button uh, if we click the warning and uh, it will show the different kind of uh, color for the notification and for the error there is a, another different kind of the error so we will integrate this uh, notification library with our angular app so let's go to the documentation again and uh, in this documentation what is the prerequisite require for this so there is a cdn files or cdn paths are available for this there is a one javascript library and one css file i have created a brand new project with the angular clr and uh, it's already running so okay it's a brand new project okay so we will integrate this toaster message javascript library okay so let's uh, click here uh, for the css path first copy and go to application go to our index.html okay so let's create a link tag and paste here the css cdn path again go to the documentation and grab the javascript cdn file path okay and create a script tag and uh, in src the paste here okay so we have integrated the toaster message required scripts and uh, css file uh, so the toaster message service is dependent on the jquery okay uh, to successfully work this toaster message we need the jquery also so let's search the jquery cdn jquery cdn and uh, for this demonstration we are work, uh, we are using this 2.x version so minified path it will show the pop up and we can grab the script tag it contains the jquery path so paste before the toaster message js okay so let's move the css file up okay so css link is above and script tag is just below so i'll make the separation here okay just save it our prerequisite we have grabbed now we are going to create a toaster message service which is reusable and we can inject this service to any other component in our app so let's create a service uh, I can call it toaster service ng generate and service name so toaster TOA steer service service okay so it will generate the serv toaster service okay guys uh, our toaster service is created and uh, we can find here just below our app dot module so open it we need to first declare toaster a uh, toaster variable declare it declare var tostr of type any so this toaster object will hold the global object of toaster uh, javascript library and uh, we can call this foo method that is success info error and warning with this toaster object okay so uh, let's create the wrapper methods for this uh, uh, first we can call create a success title of type string and second one is a message which message we want to show message uh, which is nullable type we can show only the title also so it is also the type of string and we can call this toaster dot success 
and uh, we pass here the title first and then message okay so we have created the success uh, wrapper method so let's create the other other wrapper method also so for saving the time i have uh, copied uh, in my clipboard here let's grab this it's similar to the success function itself and uh, it will take a uh, two parameters message and title and we will we can pass here i think first a uh, title and then we can take a string of message okay this message is about to null okay so same thing with error and info also so let's save it and uh, go to our app dot ts and let's inject toaster message service in constructor so constructor private toaster service service of type toaster service okay then our class name is generated toaster service so we will rename it first it will make as a toaster service and copy it and go here and paste here also okay uh, create a parenthesis also so we have injected the service so let's check our app dot portal uh, whether it is uh, getting or not so it is not um, added by cli so we will add manually so in the provider we will clear our service toaster service toaster service okay so it will automatically import now next thing is we need to <coughs> demonstrate uh, on button click so we have to create the four buttons we need to provide the click handler also so i have also uh, created the buttons uh, for saving the time so let's grab it and paste here so let's check whether our app is showing the four button or not so let's save it first save and service also save and now our four button is showing so now it is not um, working yet because we are not provided the implementation for this so let's go to our app.component.ts and provide the full implementation for this click handler so again i have copied this uh, in our um, clipboard so we can save some time so i have copy this four method and paste here uh, we are calling just the uh, service third which is we, we have created earlier in toaster service and let's check our toaster service is working or not so let's go to our app and let's call the success and uh, we have the notifications here we have a different type of notification when we click on these buttons uh, again one more thing that we have a different configuration if we make it full screen at bottom and uh, show notification so it will change the configuration so we can apply this configuration to our app also so let's copy this go to our toaster service and uh, create a configuration method or setting method that is setting in this setting we just paste this our toaster configuration and call this uh, setting in our constructor so this dot setting so our app will automatically take this configuration and show the message just like this uh, info in bottom full screen so that's all from this video and hopefully you will learn something new from this video if you like this video please share it and subscribe it thanks for watching